Kenya. Karibu waziri. Let's appreciate our waziri. Um, thank you. Am I audible? Okay. Wow, this is uh, an extremely unusual moment for me. First, let me take the opportunity to honor God and to say that we are all delighted to be part of this distinguished congregation and more so when you are celebrating 34 years of service for God. The firm leadership, Madame Teresia and the entire leadership of the church, Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Madam Rachel Ruto, the First Lady, Madam Gashagwa, Regadi, distinguished members of the congregation. Mine will be very brief. When I took oath of office, presided over by His Excellency the President just a few weeks ago. One of the things that I swore to was that I shall not divulge the secrets of Cabinet. <laughs> um, but I now stand here and say, Mr. President, allow me to breach only one aspect of it, <laughs> with your permission. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the secret I'm about to divulge is that every sitting of cabinet, the first order of business is prayer. And now here comes the clincher. And the person who leads the prayer is none other than the chairman of the cabinet itself, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya. So I have divulged a very serious secret of cabinet. Mr. President, do not admonish me later. I think it was important that at least on this call, the Kenyans and the world know that at every session, the President is very clear that without the guidance of the Lord, we shall not succeed. So on that score, uh, I have said too much. It is now my humble duty to request the prayer leader at cabinet, <laughs> His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, to come forward and make his remarks. 